With the November 5 election fast approaching, Democrat Kamala Harris and Republican Donald Trump set their sights on the key battleground state of Michigan on Friday. The vice president began her campaign day in Grand Rapids before holding events in Lansing and Oakland County, northwest of Detroit. Harris cast her opponent as politically and dispositionally dangerous. The large crowd listened attentively to Harris's remarks as they crammed into a space between the Grand River and a forested area in the park. Harris also told the crowd that Trump has no plan to protect the American people, but that she would stand up for all Americans. He has no plan for how he would address the needs of the American people. And he is, as we have seen, only focused on himself. And now he is ducking debates and canceling interviews. Come on. And, and check this out, his own campaign team recently said it is because of exhaustion. Well, if you are exhausted on the campaign trail, it raises real questions about whether you are fit for the toughest job in the world. Come on. Come on. So for all these reasons and more, we are here because we know it is time to turn the page. It is time to turn the page because America is ready to chart a new way forward. America is ready for a new and optimistic generation of leadership that is all of us. All of us. President Joe Biden says the killing of Hamas leader Yehya Sinwar by Israeli troops is a good day for the world. Speaking upon arrival in Berlin, Biden said, now was the time to move on. He called the killing an opportunity to free Israeli hostages held by Hamas and end the year-long war in Gaza. Biden said spoke with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu from Air Force One about next steps. He told reporters he was dispatching U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken to Israel. U.S. officials expressed measured optimism that Sinwar's death might breathe new life into ceasefire talks that have failed to produce a breakthrough. Good day for the world. We got, I'm told, he's here now to congratulate him getting soon more. They have a lot of blood in the hands. American blood, Israeli blood, mother. And uh, I told him that we were really pleased with his actions. And further that, uh, now's the time to move on. Move on to move toward a ceasefire and God. Make sure that we're moving in the direction that we're going to be in a position to make things better for the whole world. It's time for this war to end and bring these hostages home. And so that's what we're ready to do. That's what we're going to do. And I'm sending Tony Blinken to Israel. Uh, I guess he's going in five days, four days. Four or five days, and he's going. I talked with uh, 
TV about that. We're going to work out what what is the day after that. What, how do we secure Gaza and move on? Thank you very much. Do you feel more president, sir, about a ceasefire? I do. Do you have a sense of when you will end the war, sir? Thank you, sir.